1986, when the Chernobyl disaster sent radioactive clouds all over Europe, we knew we had to do something against nuclear energy. Many parents were really concerned about their children, and so some of us formed a group named Parents for a Nuclear Free Future. We began to educate ourselves in how to save energy. We started in our own home, and then we tried to motivate others to do the same. We wanted the energy company to support us, but they told us no, because we want to sell energy and not to save energy. And so one day we had the idea to take over the grid. Citizens could generate their own power from solar, hydro, and wind. Small producers are paid when they feed their electricity into the grid. Consumers are rewarded when they save energy. So then there was only one question. How do we get the power grid? When the election came up to decide who controls the grid, we knew it was now or never. EWS, the Shunau Electrical Power Company, held two citizen referendums and won them both. The power company said, well, you had the votes, but we have the grid, and we want nine million Dutch mark, and either you pay it or we don't give you the grid. So we had a campaign asking people to help us raising this money. It took EWS seven long years to purchase the electrical grid. This power company was afraid that this was the beginning of a movement, and it was. Under Ursula's plan, Homeowners have small power plants called co-generators. EWS is now collectively owned by more than 1,000 citizens. A year after we had taken the grid, the German electricity market was deregulated. Every person could buy electricity from the company he had chosen. And that is the idea of renewable power because it's decentralized. This is grassroots at its best. More than 100,000 people now have the electric current from this very small city and they are very proud of it. We want to have 100% renewable energy in 2050. All studies say it is possible to do that, and so we will do it. For outstanding environmental achievement in Europe, the 2011 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Ursula Sladek, Schönau, Germany.